Don't fire in down. air conditioning. Just keep it up and down. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's just like rain, you know, trying to lift a pot, move it up and down evenly throughout. And just wait for the sheen to go from shiny to matte. Okay. Because then the air will dry it. The thinner the crust, the better. If you hit it with too much heat, you'll really penetrate deeper into the pot and then you just won't be able to move it. How's outside? So 16, that makes sense. 16. Yeah, okay. 16, 16. So you want to dry it with heat a little bit before you stretch it? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. Not much <laughs> that sodium silicate will firm up like that. And you can let it air dry too. I've done that before, but it just takes longer. This is just, let's do it now. Yeah, you're starting to get that on the bottom. Yeah. You can't tell. Do what? Can you see how the sheen has changed yeah. on the bottom? Yeah. That's what you're looking for. That's all you look for. And you can start stretching it if you notice that it's not cracking. If you're like, you can hit it with more heat. Start stretching now. Mm -hmm. Just a, yeah, a little bit more. Shiny. Yeah, up top you're shining. Right. Yeah, there you go. choices. Uh, I use this rib, but you can use your hands or any other rib you have that but coconut I don't wet rib. it, right? What's that? I don't wet it. No, I just no. Have to slip on the... Right, and you're gonna, since the inside, you'll still cut quite a bit of clay off the inside mm -hmm. and you'll have to clean that rib every so often yeah. because the inside's soft. Is my inside... Inside's where the pressure is. That's where the rib? Yep. The rib goes. Yeah, you, no more touching of the outside. Okay. Unless you're a rule breaker. Which we all are. Guess what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Mo. Soon this turn. Mo. Mo. Yeah, no, She's the one that taught me that do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> you kind of like this? Oh, sure. Yeah, it was, it was, Open the valve until you hard. hear the gas. Yeah, now pull the trigger. Hand. There you go. I thought so. Mm -hmm. It was it was hard to work for me too. <laughs> well, you get all that slip on your hands. Right? Oh right. Oh the. It feels the... backwards to me. I have to get used to it. Oh, you're fine. No touching. No rib. No. Oh, I've played for no a outside. No. I'm not touching that big one. Okay. <laughs> We're all yelling at it. Well, it's it's a lot of clay there. And move up. Counterintuitive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially once you're used to being able to compress and hold the clay as you move. Mm -hmm. It's like you're a lot more steady. And so yeah, you learn. It's cracking a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. And I mean just keep getting... So now do you keep putting silica on there? Nope. No. You this just is keep it. Going. Just why my one thing. Yep. My yep. One, my one pass. Right. Okay. Yep. You just keep going. Mm-hmm. And the wider you stretch it, the more dramatic that crackling becomes. And you can dry it, but like I said, you don't want to dry it too much. That's why I take it slow. Yeah. See your hands on the outside again. <laughs> <laughs> you got a breaker. <laughs> That is really hard not to do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the pots with the really deep crackles, you put that on yep. when it was kind of more cylindrically shaped and just kept stretching That's it. That's correct. Yeah. 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 
There's really only three forms. There's a cylinder, a bowl, and a plate, and everything else is just a derivative of that. So, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, so that's all you need to know is how to form those three different shapes. You can hit it with the torch again to firm it up. Oh, let's do. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm going to knock it over. Yeah. And this time, you can really hit it. <laughs> I, I can't keep from flying the silicon. I've never done it twice, so I don't know. Now, I put two coats on the, on the last one I did. Yeah, how was that? The bigger hit. Did it, it crackle a lot more the second time? Or was it about the same? Um, I couldn't tell. Okay. I, I pushed it a lot further. Yeah. Um, yeah. It might have helped hold it together a little bit better. That could be, yeah. Yeah, I've never done that, and that's I've, all. I've pushed it. I've pushed it hard. Mm-hmm. Even that little one that I was... You playing with? Yeah. yeah. Playing with, you know, I pushed that mm -hmm. really hard. Yeah, yeah. I did some nice crackle. Exactly. And that little one had two coats too? No. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Did you put the second coat on at the end or while you were still working with it? Two of them on before I started. Oh, I double. Okay, so it wasn't in the middle. It wasn't coming like, back. Like it wouldn't be now after you stretch no. it? No. Okay. Yeah, see, I've never applied another coat after I stretched it. Yeah, but it could Because that work, seems interesting because you'd be applying it where there isn't any within the cracks, and right. so then it would be cracking in the cracks if you stretched it more. And I do think though it would make the slip on the surface turn, it would make the crackles turn back into slip. But by all means, give it a go. Oh, with the brush. Yeah, yep. Is there a way to put it on without the brush? It's really thick, I don't think you could spray it. Uh, Mo, do you think we should go check on the raccoon? Yes, I think we should. All right. It should be. Sure. 